So the Keynote 522 trial was a randomized phase three trial, the first placebo-controlled phase three trial in early triple negative breast cancer. Patients received six months of chemotherapy, and in addition to chemotherapy at that time, it received either pembrolizumab, an immune checkpoint inhibitor, every three weeks, or placebo every three weeks. Then patients underwent surgery, and after surgery, they received another six months of pembrolizumab or placebo alone. So I had a total of one year of treatment with immune checkpoint inhibitors. The chemotherapy regimen was intensive. It was 12 weeks of carboplatin and paclitaxel, followed by four cycles of AC or EC. The trial had two co-primary endpoints. One was for PATH-CR, as we previously discussed. The second endpoint was for event-free survival, which is a time endpoint we will see over time. We recruited 1,174 patients into this trial, randomized two to one, over a very short period of time of only 18 months. At ESMO 2019, we presented final and definitive data for PATH-CR, showing a statistically significant and meaningful increase of 13.6% in the PATH-CR rates, with a PATH-CR rate of 64.8% in patients who received chemotherapy and placebo, which is markedly higher than what we have ever seen before in early triple negative breast cancer. Of note and interesting is that we saw a benefit of pembrolizumab both in patients who had PD-1 negative tumors as well as PD-1 positive tumors, and with a similar incremental benefit of, for the, of the addition of pembrolizumab to chemotherapy. With a very short follow-up of only 15 months, where normally in at one trials we wouldn't expect to see differences in, in, in recurrence rate because often the recurrences occur later, we already see that the two curves seem to be separating. The 18 months estimated event-free survival rates are 91% for patients receiving pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy and 85%, so 6% different, in patients receiving placebo and chemotherapy. The hazard ratio is 0.63, which at this point is not significant uh, according to the predefined uh, boundaries of significance, which were very, very ambitious at this early time point, but are very encouraging because they suggest that even at this very early time point, the PCR benefits we see with immune therapy are likely to translate into a long-term benefit in terms of reducing recurrences and hopefully increasing the chances of being cured. If you look at safety in this trial, in the first six months where patients received chemotherapy, the, the, the side effect profiles were very much dominated by chemotherapy. And the addition of placebo or pembrolizumab had very little impact, and we see very little differences between those two groups. If you look at the six months after surgery, where patients received pembrolizumab or placebo alone, again, there, 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 there are very small differences between those two groups, and the, and the rate of side effects is, is much lower compared to the phase when, when chemotherapy was given. If you look at the so-called immune-mediated side effects, side effects we, we, we often associate with immune therapy, although they're very rare, they were very rare in this trial as well. Colitis, pneumonitis, uh, 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 hepatitis rates very low in the range of what we've learned from other studies in breast cancer and other diseases, and, 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 and therefore it seems to be well manageable. The most common side effect was a change in the thyroid function which is entirely expected with immune checkpoint inhibitors and, and, and manageable with medication therapy. So in summary, what the Keynote 522 trial shows us is a statistically significant and meaningful increase in PATH-CR rates by 13.6% to a PATH-CR rate of 64.8%. It also, despite a very short follow-up, already shows a very encouraging trend in event-free survival and shows a manageable safety profile but we will require further follow-up for safety and for event-free survival to fully determine the effect of this treatment.